Adam, we now know that the suspect in this shooting is 20-year-old Benjamin Charles Jones of Dayton. Now, police say Jones shot four people, three women and one man, before turning the gun on himself, taking his own life. As for the victims, three of them are stable, while one remains in critical condition. The mama, the mama. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Nobody you can't touch your head. On November 20th, 2023, at 8.36 p.m., the Beaver Creek Police Department Dispatch Center received the first 911 call of a male who walked into Walmart with a rifle. This body cam video shows the moments after a shooting at the Walmart near Fairfield Commons began as officers entered the building to search for the gunman. Officers were dispatched within one minute, and the first two officers arrived on scene at 8.39 p.m. That's just three minutes after the first 911 call was placed. We now know that 20-year-old Benjamin Charles Jones shot four people on Monday night and then shot himself. Here you can see Beaver Creek police officers finding him in the Vision Center within that Walmart. Today, law enforcement officials said that the four victims were found throughout the store. All over, in different different spots. I know I know of one victim specifically that was towards the back of the store uh, in the grocery section. You may remember this is the same Walmart where John Crawford III was shot and killed by Beaver Creek Police in August of 2014. This is also the same location where a fire started inside the store earlier this month. Mayor Bob Stone had this to say about the store's history. Well, I can't help but bring back memories. It's, uh, you know, it's a tragedy all in itself, though. This is a, and this is the tragedy we are grieving for. And uh, it's a shame in a way that it has to be compared to the previous shooting. But Beaver Creek residents told me today they know this area is still safe. Yeah, I, as I said, every time something's happened, I've I've been back within a week and it's never even bothered me. It doesn't even cross my mind. I mean, I feel like this is a safe area and that this it's just anomalies that keep happening. Walmart informed us today that this location is going to remain closed until further notice. But of course, as soon as they decide to open back up, we will update you at home. Now stay tuned because at 615 you'll hear from another Beaver Creek resident who shops in this area all the time and says that he's not going to let this incident scare him away. Back to you.